hello my beautiful aries and welcome to your love reading thank you all so much for your like shares comments and subscribes i appreciate you guys if any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything to make a donation to the channel um or to become a member to gain access to the um naughty reading sorry <laughs> All info on how to do so is down below in the description box, okay? So this is for my beautiful um, Aries. Let's see what is coming towards you guys in love. Okay, that's not the right deck. One second. Okay, so the overall energy for my beautiful Aries. Is the overall energy for my beautiful Aries? Okay, so we have Secret Admirer. It says, Cross Stranger Love, Daydreaming and Surprises. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Regrets, Missing You, Sadness, Sleepless Nights, I Want You Back. So I feel like, I mean, this is quite self explanatory, darling. Um, your ex or someone that you were with, which is an ex, <laughs> wants you back. So this person is watching you secretly. So you could have like some type of platform um, that they are watching or stalking. Or if you live in the same neighborhood as your ex-partner, um, or maybe you don't. Maybe they're like driving around your neighborhood or walking around your neighborhood trying to find out or figure out if they can bump into you. Okay. Um, but this person is watching you and whatever it is that you're doing, they admire what you do. And they obviously want you back. Okay. This person has a lot of regrets okay now this could be you you know it could always go the other way but let's just see where this is going so your ex is secretly watching you and secretly admiring you and looks to me like they secretly want you back okay so this is for my beautiful aries so it looks like they're still in love with you okay Okay, so we have the Royals. It says, Power Couple, Legacy of Love, and Divine Counterparts. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Beauty and the Brains, which says, Sapiosexual, Learning from Each Other, and Clever Conversation. Okay, so maybe there's something that you said to this person that kind of reminded them how much they love you, okay? Or they're just very attracted to intelligence, or you are, okay? But this person feels like you're royal. They feel like you are, um, how can I say? They feel like you're... Um, like you were made for them, if that makes sense. They think of you as, they think very highly of you. They see you as a king or a queen, a god or a goddess, okay? They feel like you could have been someone who could have created like, they could have created a legacy with you based on the knowledge or the things that you know. Maybe both of you are scientists or something like that, okay? I just keep on hearing my queen. So I feel like when someone looks at you, that's kind of what they think. Okay, this is for my beautiful. We have the erotic bliss, darling. It says sacred sex, orgasmic ecstasy and satisfaction guaranteed. So there was a lot of sexual um, attraction in this relationship, okay? Um... And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Mr. and Mrs., which says commitment, life partner, and promises. So this could have been someone that you were married to or somebody regrets not marrying you or not taking you seriously or not committing to the relationship, okay? Um, but they're still very attracted to you. I feel like this person is yearning for you or you could be yearning for them. But they feel like you're like their perfect match. Yeah, and then we have the secret admirer once again underneath, which says curiosity, spying, and hidden feelings. So your ex has hidden feelings for you that they're kind of keeping to themselves. I feel like they regret letting you go. Now, for some of you, you could have moved on and maybe you're married to someone else. This person also may regret marrying. So maybe your ex moved on and they married someone else or they got into a commitment or so with someone else, but they regret that. And they wish that they would have committed to you because they feel like you were the right person or it could go the other way around. Maybe you are already married or you're in commitment with someone else and your ex is kind of watching you. And, you know, sometimes it takes like them to see you with someone else before they can be like, oh, OK, you know. But I mean, let's just see where this is going.
yeah, a reflection. So this person is looking a lot into themselves, like they're doing deep introspection here. They could actually be reflecting on some type of conversation that you had as well, or they could be looking at you, like I said, on social media or something like that, okay? Divine timing. So a lot of time has gone past. They've been reflecting a lot. They also could be waiting for the right time to kind of express how they feel, okay? Yeah, we have soulmate and freedom that wanted to come out together and then we have commitment. Yeah, so this person regrets, it's either they regret who they have committed themselves to or they regret not committing to you, okay? Um, because I feel like you're free, but this person, like I said, they still love you, okay? But I just want one card. They feel like you're their soulmate. Yeah, we have engagement. So I'm getting that I wish I married you is what I'm hearing. And then we have transformation, yeah. Somebody wants something to change or they have seen how much you have transformed and they think that you're like a beautiful little butterfly or something, okay? So you can hear a dog out there. Maybe somebody was a bit of a dirty dog, okay? So let's get the tarot. Okay, so we have, oh, all the cards have fallen on the floor. I'm not bending to pick that up. We have the five of wisdom, so the five of swords. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, so there could have been, I feel like this person is reflecting on their spite and their envy and their hatred. So maybe this is someone who played a lot of mind games. This could have been someone who thought they were better than you as well with the royals. Okay, but they are reflecting on that. Like someone does know that they've been like a bitch to you and they're kind of just thinking about that. Okay, it's almost like they're like, well, why was I behaving that way? Or why did I do the whole mental mind games? Or why did I sabotage the relationship? Because this could be a card of like self-sabotage as well. Okay. Yeah, the five of cups could be done with the Scorpio. We have two fives here. So 55 could be very significant. Now they could have also, they could also regret a sexual experience. Because only if I want you back, we do have the one night stand fast. Sudden connection, sex, positivity, and pleasure. Because um, this is on the erotic bliss and the engagement. So for some of you, you could have been married to someone and they stepped out on the relationship and they really regret that. And you're not together and now they're, they're realizing that they sabotaged the relationship. For others of you, it doesn't have to be that. Someone just regrets that they, like I said, they didn't commit to you or there was some type of broken promise here or they just have a lot of regrets about what they did in the relationship. Yeah. And then we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the... Um, a gemini um they are really terrified here like i feel like this person literally because you know the, the five of the nine of wisdom the nine of swords is a card of like not being able to sleep you know being up all night nightmares and you know it's clarified with this which says um sleepless nights so i do feel like someone is haunted by the memory of you and what they did and all of these regrets that they have but i feel like someone was very spiteful here very vindictive. They just like to play a lot of mind games. Um, someone just doesn't know how to love or be in a relationship properly. And they regret this deeply. Yeah, and then we have the five of wands, the five of passion. So there could have been a lot of conflict. But I feel like this person is in like mental turmoil right now. Okay, they also could be really afraid to speak to you. Or they could be afraid to face you. That's why it's this secret admirer. They're secretly admiring you, but it's like, you know, they're covering their face, you know. Someone feels ashamed, I feel. Okay. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. What is the Five of Swords, please? Oh, yeah, the hermit. There's a lot of darkness in all of these cards. So it could be done with a Virgo. So, yeah, someone could have regretted, like, ghosting you. Um, or they regret not listening to you or not seeing the light. You know, because he's kind of looking at the star. Well, he's not. In this card, his eyes are actually closed, but there's a star there. So his eyes are not even open. So it's almost like someone didn't see your star potential. Or they didn't see your quality or they just didn't. They didn't see you on a spiritual level or something like that but this person is doing introspection and, and reflection because the hermit does that he goes within so this person is going within uh, it's almost like someone is, is 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 facing their own darkness but i mean these are all cards of you know so i feel like someone is in a very dark place 
like when they think about what they did to you. I think that was a fly. And then we have, yeah, the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like some of you were very angelic. They've seen the truth about you. Okay. And something here about divine timing. So they could be thinking about the right time to reach out or something. Or... But please clarify the five of cups. Yeah, the page of swords. So this person definitely watches you. And like I said, they're looking into their regrets. But they're looking at you with regret, basically. You could have turned your back to this person as well. So they're watching you. You may not know they're watching you. Or you may feel them because the hermit is like an energy that you can feel, but you can't really see because it's the ghost. So you may feel like there is like a presence. I feel like that is like your ex around you. Maybe they do astro travel or something or... Maybe you just, you can, because I'm getting like, I can feel you thinking about me. You may feel like when they're thinking about you, you actually feel them. That dog is like going crazy. So I just heard someone's barking up the wrong tree or someone's really trying to get your attention. And we have the page of pentacles here. So yeah, somebody, oh, and then the ten of swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, it's almost like they want to approach you or they want to give you something or they want to offer you something, but they're terrified of what you're going to say. Or they're terrified that you're not going to accept whatever this is. Could be something about a child here as well. Maybe somebody got someone else pregnant and they really regret that. Sometimes the page of pentacles can be like a sincere apology as well. But I mean, you know, the pentacles could represent, you know, in the love reading, um, like loyalty because it's something that's solid, it's earth energy. You know, it could be an offer of commitment. But I do feel like someone could also be afraid that you've, that you've married someone else, that you've moved on, or someone also could have got cold feet here as well. So maybe you were supposed to marry someone, but they kind of ran away, or they ghosted you at the altar or something like that. They do feel bad about that. Oh, that is what might happen, okay? But I'm just getting, you know, you take it how it resonates. Someone is just really guilty here. Wow, we have I admire you and I want to marry you. And I'm so nervous around you. Yeah, those just all kind of flew out together. So marriage or commitment is definitely a factor here. Um, I stalk you, wanted to come out. I told you this person's watching you. The hermit could also be like an investigator as well, someone who's looking into someone. So... They're definitely watching you, okay? Or like I said, this could be you. But we have Virgo, we have any of the air signs. Who am I doing, Aries? Um, Gemini, yeah, gem the air's heavy here. Gemini, Aquarius is heavy. Could be Libra also. Scorpio and Virgo is on the table, and then any of the air signs. So everyone is here apart from fire, apart from you. Um... And I want to see you, yeah. So I told you, I stalk you and I want to see you. So this person watches you. They want to see you. They want to see what you're up to. They want to see what you're doing. I also said somebody could be trying to peek to see, like, if you're having relations with someone. Okay. So you may just want to close your curtains if you aren't doing anything with anybody. Because, you know. And I want forever with you. Yeah, so somebody wants forever with you they want to have a relationship with you i feel like somebody wants to commit to you but they regret that they didn't or they regret something in the relationship they want you back okay i can't stand seeing you with someone else the idea of you being with someone else is killing me so for some of you you have moved on and it's just killing this person to know that for others of you it's the idea it's a thought so like i said this person could be watching you trying to figure out if you're dating someone or not okay So it's going to be different for different people. Not going to lie, I do stalk you on social media. So, I mean, this person wants to really drive their point home, darling. Stalk you, I stalk you on social media, and then we have the page of swords. So, like I said, I feel like this person is going through your social networks. Looking at everything you do. But whatever it is that you're posting, they admire you also. And then we have, you're my soulmate. I feel like we've met before, maybe in a past life, yeah. So someone feels like you're their soulmate, they want forever with you, and they regret something that they did in the relationship 
in order for it to, you know, in order for you guys not to be together anymore. Um, so they want you back. They stalk you. Someone's a stalker. So can we just have additional messages, please? Artist. So for some of you, you could be an artist, like a musician, or you could actually be like a creative artist, okay? Like a painter or a drawer or something like that. So maybe you're posting your work and they're very impressed with your art, with your craftsmanship. Then we have awesome. So something, um, because we had the transformation at the bottom of the deck with the autumn. So I'm getting something is changing. Maybe someone is like falling or falling back in love with you. Okay. Or someone seeing the beauty and change. Cause I think that autumn is very beautiful. Like when the leaves and everything start to turn like a reddy orangey color, you know, um, but other people, they may not like autumn. I like autumn. Um, so yeah, someone's name could be autumn as well. Something could have happened in autumn, or maybe this is when this person is going to approach you or something. And then we have lottery slash jackpot. So I feel like this person realized that you were the jackpot in their life, especially with the royals here. But they have a lot of regrets, a lot. And then we have limerence, yeah. So this person's kind of going a bit crazy right now. Okay, but I hope that resonated. Um, please don't hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.